Right. Okay. So question number 13 here. Hello. Ooh. Whoops. So, here we go. Um, oh, I see two right angle triangles. My first thought instantly before I've even read anything. Pythagoras's theorem, which is c squared is a squared plus b squared. And I also think trigonometry, which the phrase that jumps to mind, so ka toa, sine, cosine, tangent, so ka toa. They're the things that instantly spring to my mind. Let's see what's going on. In this run, we've got all the information in a right angle triangle. It's not drawn accurately, but it's labeled accurately. Work out the length of BC. Okay, let's do it. Then. So if I know that C squared is A squared plus B squared, then in my case, this is my hypotenuse. So I know that 13 squared is 6 squared plus x squared. Fantastic. So that tells me that x squared, just want to put a bubble around it for some reason, x squared is 13 squared minus 6 squared. Um, 13 squared minus 6 squared x squared is 133, so therefore x is the square root of 133, which is uh, 11.53256259, which is roughly, three significant figures, 11.5. Three significant figures. Okay, so this is my answer there. Right, I know I'm running a little bit short of space because uh, I wanted to get the whole question on the same page. Let's look at the second one. It gives us another right angle triangle. This time it's P R Q, and it's got a right angle. So I'm thinking, well, I've used this one. So just as a wild guess, I'm probably have to use this, but we'll check. This time I want to work out the sine of angle R to P to Q. R P Q. That's this angle up in here. So let's label that up with a theta. I'm going to go ahead and label this is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, and this is my opposite. So I don't want that. I want the 17 and the 25. So I want, if I look here, I want the cosine. So I want ka. Or better, I want the cosine of theta is equal to 17, the adjacent, divided by 25. Okay? So I wanted to find this, and it's adjacent on top of the hypotenuse, so it's 25. So therefore, theta is equal to the cos minus 1 of 17 over 25. Now that gives me, I'm just going to come down here, um, shift cosine 17 over 25 which is 47.15635696, which means that theta is roughly equal to one decimal place, 47.2 degrees to one decimal place. And that's it, I'm done.